Somebody Meghan Markle once worked with on a shoot have revealed that Meghan didn't necessarily need to marry Prince Harry before attracting the nickname Princess. A New York-based photographer who previously shot her in her suit's days, has described her behavior somewhat unfavorably. Suggesting that her conduct strayed into prima donna territory, sloping and sheltering beneath a baseball cap, requesting champagne and demanding that, at all costs, they don't capture her feet, reportedly, because she has previously undergone an operation to remove a bunion. The professional cameraman, who hasn't been named since he still works in the industry, says that Megan brought along a 12-person entourage, that he compared to a clique in the film Mean Girls, and laid down a strict set of rules. She reportedly also demanded she be given full approval of all the footage. The videographer, who worked on a promotional project with the Duchess in Toronto, Canada, said she had garnered a reputation for being difficult. He told, she was very high maintenance and rude. He continually refers to her as a diva and says how ahead of the job, people told me, get ready because she is a lot. They used to call her the princess he explained. He continues, it was the attitude, how she talked to people, the rules. She came in wearing a, baseball, cap, hiding her face and she had her head down and just walked back towards the makeup room. It was like it was the big diva coming in, and she doesn't want people to see her, like you would do if you're walking in the street and you don't want the paparazzi to take your picture. More favorably, he said that she was very easy to shoot. Once you say action, she knows how to do her job, only he said that once the camera stops, she is not very friendly. The videographer claims that her attitude didn't improve for the duration of the shoot, and she wasn't overly willing to follow his instructions as the director. Normally when you suggest things on a shoot the star will not contradict you, they will say, I will try that. But she had her own ideas. She had a lot of decision, power, but at some point, you're an actor and I'm the director, let me do my thing. Reportedly, after editing the video, the videographer was warned that she might reject the whole thing but, thankfully, the work was approved with no significant issues. Another news, the Duchess of Sussex sent a letter and snacks to Moms Demand Action, which is demanding tougher gun laws in America. The group's founder Shannon Watts tweeted about Meghan's show of support to the campaign. She said, at Moms Demand volunteers and staff have been working around the clock for weeks, so it was moving to receive such a supportive note, and snacks, from the Duchess of Sussex today. In a further tweet, Ms. Watts added, lots of questions about the snacks. Donuts, bagels with the works, coffee, cookies, etc. delicious and appreciated. Meghan's type note had a personal correspondence header and was signed with her Duchess title. The mother of two, who is living in California with Prince Harry after quitting royal duties, said, Good afternoon ladies. To each of you and your fearless leader, Shannon, a huge thank you for the work you are doing to keep our kids, families, and communities safe. Please know that while you may feel exhausted by your endless hours of dedication to this cause, I hope you feel energized in knowing that the work you're doing is vital and so deeply appreciated. As a mom, as a friend, thank you so much. The Duchess's show of support for Mom's Demand Action comes after she visited a memorial for the victims of a mass shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, last month. Gun control is a fraught political issue in America and there has recently been a spate of mass shootings across the nation. Advocates for gun control are pitted against those who are protective of their constitutionally enshrined right to bear arms. Traditionally, royals do not become involved in political matters. However, Meghan and Harry quit as working royals in March 2020.